The Mini 4 Pro is packed with powerful features for filming. The most innovative one is Active Track 360, a revolutionary upgrade opening new horizons for autonomous tracking with a drone. With a recent firmware update, this feature has been further updated with a new name Active Shot or Smart Shots. I know, it is a bit confusing. In this video, I will show you how it works and how to use it to track moving objects and follow people, cars, boats and so on, in a much more dynamic way. The Mini 4 Pro has three tools for tracking, grouped under the name Focus Track. Spotlight, Active Track, or should I say Active Shots, and Point of Interest, the last one with minimal tracking capabilities. I have done specific videos about Spotlight and Point of Interest, I will add a link at the end of this one. With previous DJI models, I use Active Track for autonomous tracking, in other words, when I cannot use the remote control because I am myself the target while driving, walking, cycling, on a boat, and so on. When I'm tracking other subjects and I can freely use the controller, my favorite tool is Spotlight, as it allows all sorts of movements while keeping the target in the middle of the frame. But the new Active Track 360 is very powerful and I will be using it more often. In the Mini 3 Pro, Active Track is implemented in a relatively basic way. There are two modes available, Trace and Parallel. In Trace mode, the drones follow the target from behind or from the front at a constant distance and height. It is also possible to have the drone on top of the target with the camera facing down for top-down tracking. Parallel mode is used for tracking the target from a side, although not exactly at 90% for safety reasons, as this model is not supplied with omnidirectional obstacle avoidance. So, when tracking without the remote controller, the options are rather limited. The Mavic 3 has a more advanced implementation of Active Track, as it is possible to select from a circular interface eight different positions compared to the drone. It is certainly an improvement, but the tracking will still be relatively static when the remote controller is not used. The Mini 4 Pro introduces a much more dynamic approach to autonomous tracking. Note that Active Track has recently been added to the Air 3, but it is not as yet available on the different version of the Mavic 3. Let's dive into it. First of all, in the Safety tab of the settings, we set the Obstacle Avoidance action to Bypass to take advantage of the Omnidirectional Obstacle Detection another major upgrade to the Mini 4 Pro compared to previous lightweight models. This will ensure extra safety, although some caution is still needed in case of obstacles hard to detect, like wiry tree branches and electric lines. With Atkins shots, we can select the same resolutions and frame rates as for regular video. All three color profiles are available, Normal, D-Log and HLG, and this is great news. As usual, we enter the three mode of focus track by drawing a rectangle about a target. An easier way, especially for a target already in motion, is to select Subject Scanning in the Control tab. Now people and vehicles are recognized as potential targets with a plus sign above them. A target is selected by tapping on this sign. A window will open with the three focus track modes. Attic Shots is the one on the left. After choosing it and hitting Go, we are presented with three choices, Auto, Manual and Parallel. Let's start with Manual, the more versatile one. After choosing myself as a target, selecting Manual and hitting Go, on the lower left part of the screen, a window appears with a double dial. 
In the center, there is an icon of a person walking facing the front. It represents the position of the target. Behind the target, in the inner ring, there is a small circle with an arrow representing the position from where the drone will be tracking. This means that by default, the tracking position is behind the target. If I start working, the drone computes my position and then moves behind me. If I move to a side or turn completely around, it will pivot and turn around me until its position again behind me, as this is the position of the target indicated in the ring. So, in manual mode, the aircraft tracks relative to the position of the target. Now I walk in a straight line and I don't find being tracked from behind very exciting. So I want it to move to my left side at 9 o'clock. I select the cursor with a finger to the left until 9 o'clock. After a few seconds the drone will turn to my left. Once again the position of the aircraft is relative to my direction so if I change it it will adjust its position until it is again to my left. I can choose on the dial any position for the drone by moving the little icon to the front, right or anywhere in between. Notice that when the drone moves to assume the new position, the ring shows a green line following the move. When following a person, it is possible to use a second ring, the outer one. By going to settings through the three dots at the top right of the screen, we can select the control tab, where below suggest scanning, we can choose smart shots settings. A window will open to customize the use of the two rings. There are two different modes, one for person and another one for vehicles. In person's mode, both rings are available. The inner one is for closer distance and lower altitude, while the other one is for further away and higher up. Below there is a segment with two cursors. To set the distance, the drone will keep for the target. The left one is for the inner ring, and the right one for the outer ring. Let's start by setting it at extreme values, which are a minimum distance of 2 meters or 6 feet, and a maximum of 15 meters. Then we can specify the altitude of the drone. Let's choose the minimum value for the inner and the maximum value for the outer ring. Then we can set the movement of the camera to normal or fast. Let's keep it to normal. Finally, is it possible to select near ground flight to have the aircraft at less than 2 meters for quite spectacular tracking? Although for safety reasons should only be used with even terrain, without slopes or tall grass. We can now go back to the manual tracking to see how the integration between the two rings work. I set the drone to track me from behind on the inner ring, and then I swipe with the finger to place it in front of me slightly to the right on the outer ring. I have set extreme values for distance and height to make the effect more dramatic, even though in real life I prefer a subtle difference between the values. Now I select subtle values in the settings and try again. As you can see, using manual mode it is possible to track in a much more dynamic way, opening new ways for vlogging, music clips and other uses for videography. I wish it would be possible to fine-tune the rotation speed so that the whole transition lasts for 15-20 seconds, which would be ideal for short clips.
The mode parallel works in a much simpler way. Once we set the direction for tracking, let's say with the aircraft facing east, it will continue to track the subject while always facing the same geographical direction, regardless of the movement of the target. It is a useful option when we want to maintain the same background. Although the name parallel, in my opinion, is not appropriate, it should be rather named fixed direction or lock direction. In auto mode, the drone performs a series of specified moves similar to quick shots while tracking the target. Even though we cannot control the movement, some useful results can be easily achieved. When a target is recognized as a vehicle, we only have their inner ring available. I frankly don't know the reason, maybe for safety issues. I hope it is only temporary, as it would be very effective to have the same functionalities as for tracking a person. The new Attic Track or Active Shots is a major step forward for prosumer drones. As often is the case for a new feature, it still needs a couple of refinements, but the potential is huge. Another issue that needs to be addressed is a tendency to lose the target in normal mode in medium to strong winds, while parallel and auto work much better. Click on these links to watch my video about Spotlight and Point of Interest with the Mini 4 Pro. And don't forget to hit the like button if you find this video interesting. Thank you.